The storm over the weekend, of course, continues to affect our entire community. Yeah, and pet shelters are struggling to keep animals cool and safe throughout these power outages. Fox 23's Alexa Mostrom is live with the conditions at one shelter where their dogs are on day three of no AC. Alexa. Yes, they took me through their shelter today. That's where I am right now. And just seeing all those dogs hot and panting, it just really, really broke my heart. They're doing their best to keep these puppies cool, but as we all know, it's been really hot outside. Panting dogs wait inside the building of the Oklahoma Pet Collective Society. Since Saturday night, their building has been without power. We're trying to work on getting an air conditioning uh, unit going for the dogs to keep them more comfortable, but as of right now, we just have intermittent fans going. Colleen Gable, the vice president of the society, and Raquel Engel, the fundraising coordinator, say the heat is becoming a large problem. But so much of what we do relies on having air conditioning. They have roughly 36 dogs in-house dealing with this extreme heat. I've only been here about 20 minutes and I'm already sweating. Unfortunately, they're, the temperatures that it is outside, that's what it is currently inside. Um, maybe if not a little warmer just because of the dogs panting and we don't have adequate airflow. Gable and Engel explained they recently received a generator from a foster family. However, the generator can only power fans, not the air conditioning. We are concerned about them getting heat stroke. We're concerned about them. Uh, we have some dogs that take medications and we're concerned about their health as well. They are doing everything they can to keep the dogs cool. We've got uh, kitty pools outside, uh, misting air uh, hoses, trying to do the best that we can to keep these dogs cool. Gable and Ingalls say their staff takes turns checking on the animals every few hours. However, their concern is growing. The health and safety of our dogs is the most important thing to us right now. Gable and Ingle are still on the hunt for anything to help with the heat. They told me that they can't find generators, but even if they could, they don't have the funding to buy one right now. So they're looking to the community for help, donations, foster families, or just a generator to rent or borrow. If you want to help, go to fox23.com and find this story. Live covering news that matters, I'm Alexa Mostrom, Fox 23 News.